President Emerson Mnangagwa was declared the winner of the elections on August 23 and 24, but defiant opposition leader Nelson Chamisa of the Citizens Coalition for Change CCC says he is already assembling his cabinet as the rightful victor. Mnangagwa received 2,350,711 votes 52.6% of the 4,468,730 votes cast, according to Zimbabwe Electoral Commission ZEC head Justice Priscilla Chikamba, while Chamisa received 1,967,343 votes, or 44% of the vote. Speaking at a press conference yesterday in Harare, Chamisa claimed that the election was invalid and that his party had the B11 and B23B forms, whose findings differed from those used by ZEC to declare Umlingogwa the victor. What should we do next? Zimbabwe is set to undergo change. Whether or not ZANU PF members desire it. There will be a shift, but it won't be simple, Chamisa remarked. We are not going to wait five years. Now is the time for change. We will take the lead in ensuring that change occurs in Zimbabwe. Mr. Mnangogwa is aware that since 2008, he has carried out three coups, one on the ballot. One on the elected leader and one on the ballot in 2018. He has stated that the coup will be on the ballot in 2023. You can only endure this so many times. This time, stop here. We have established a boundary. You cannot mistreat people, we promise. You are not the final individual in Zimbabwe. The credibility of the elections has been a source of concern for a number of electoral observers. The elections in Zimbabwe, according to the Southern African Development Community Election Observation Mission SEOM, did not adhere to local, national and international requirements for holding free, fair and credible elections. According to Chumisa, there won't be a replay of the contested election in which he came up short to Umlin in 2018. The CCC has brought up a number of issues, including the victimization of voters on election days by ZANU-PF affiliate Forever Associates Zimbabwe. The party also alleged purposeful delays in the distribution of ballots in its strongholds, claiming that this denied its followers the right to vote. Umning Gogwa decided to prolong voting to the following day because many polling places, particularly in Harare and Bulawayo, which have historically been strongholds of the opposition, received the vote papers very late. ZEC claimed that the various legal actions contesting the June 21st nomination process were a major cause of the ballot's tardy distribution. Earlier today, Chumisa declared he would launch a diplomatic effort to combat the purported electoral fraud. Since we have fixed every mistake we found, we are prepared to establish the new government. We now have the results, and we will set up that administration, he vowed. This is a non-violent offensive. We are launching a diplomatic assault. To ensure that the voice of the people is honored and that ultimately the voice of God rules in this nation. We will adopt an aggressive attitude in a progressive and democratic manner.